gets married do-it-yourself crafts. Today, we just got back from the dollar store. And we got a mason jar as well as a solar light. And we are going to get ready for spring because I just have a feeling it is right around the corner. I hope so. So, I'm going to start with your mason jar. I'm going to go ahead and clear, clean the outside of the jar. And today we're going to be utilizing or using full cart enamels. They are for glass. These are um, the type that once you cure it in the oven for 30 minutes, it is good to go. It is even dishwasher safe and your paint will not be removed. So we are going to get started. So what we are essentially making is outdoor solar mason jar like for spring. We're going to start with getting our design on. We're going to put that in the oven, cure it, and then we're going to come back after that and I'll show you how to do the solar part of it and go from there. Enjoy. Alright, as most of you know, I'm really, really a fan of the cherry blossom, so it is one of my favorites. So I am going to go ahead and do my cherry blossom. And you can do them wherever you like. Not really something that you can mess up on it is to your liking remember you are the artist as long as you like it that is all that matters limbs, branches, and you just make them flow around where you'd like. Some can be thick, some can be thin. Again, that is entirely your judgment. I am really just going to start from the bottom. Again, trying not to put your glass down because your paint is still wet. I'm just going to start with making just a few little branches. Remember branches are not straight. You want to wiggle some around. And essentially you are going to have this effect on the glass. With just some trees. And it just looks really like the tree of a cherry blossom. with that for just a minute. I'm going to let that dry. Meanwhile, I'll go ahead and get started on our other one. All right, so I'm going to start on our second one in the outside of your jar. And that essentially makes sure that your paint is stick. Let that dry. Thank you. 
Okay, live and learn. My suggestion is use these little tiny sponges. Which I believe you can actually get at the Dollar Tree. Alright, well, welcome back. We have now cooked our jars and cured them. Very nice. Paint is, an, again, washable. You're not going to be washing these, but however, if they are outside, which is mainly where they're going to be, and they get wet with rain, you're not going to lose your paint. So, now what we're going to do is going to fill the inside with just some clear gloss finish. I found that this works best. I've already put some here in a bottle. And we are going to then put glitter. I like to use something close to the color. I did notice when I did some Christmas ones that the darker doesn't really show as, as well. So I'm going to use probably a this one here, I'm going to use some of these pinks, just for a little bit of a glitter effect, and this is as well what's going to illuminate it with your solar light. For this one, I believe I'm just going to go ahead and use the white. Again, these are glitter packets that you can buy at the Dollar Tree for a dollar. So perfect uh, to embellish the rest of the top. Um, again, you can use some decorative rope. This is as well at the Dollar Tree. I do like to use this. I've used this on a lot of different projects as you've already seen. And let's get started with purposeful waste products. Just going to pour a little bit in there. Sloshed around. You're going to turn it on its side. And you're just going to slowly churn and you're going to continue churning until you see that there is a glaze completely throughout the jar. This one here we're going to essentially just use a white. Depending on the size of your jar, depends on how much of these you need. I'm going to start with one full one. Slip it in your jar. Slosh it around. And again with this, you're just going to slowly roll it around. So the entire thing is getting covered with glitter. Essentially just gonna wipe the end. With this one, I am actually gonna just let that upside down for just a couple minutes. Sometimes I've done different ones. When I was doing my Christmas balls, I let them set like eight minutes or so. And I'm thinking I really should have probably done that on this one. I'm not liking the effect, but I am going to try and rectify it.
little bit in there. That's what it needed. It needed some more glitter. Let's get moving on to the next step. Anyway, today we got these jars of Dollar Tree. Come with the lids. You can dispose of this. You know, take your Dollar Tree solar light. Disconnect it. Dispose of that part. Turn that on. As you see, it's working. Now, we're essentially going to be able to... Ooh, this one's a lot tighter than other ones that I have done. It's pretty much even. There we go. Nothing to screw it on it. Yeah. So that was a pretty far back a little video foo fall there. However, I did not like the darker and mixed colors so I went ahead and washed the glitter that I had originally put in there redone my polyacrylic and I am now just going to go ahead and go with white because again the lighter colors I'm finding you can see better you know they light up better and you can see them better again we will do this in the dark and show you as you can see it is lighting up it would be nice out on your porch so I'm gonna go ahead and redo this one again just rolling the glitter This one has worked out much better than the other one. I think I like it better in the white anyway. Lovely. do my best to get the rest of that in there. Save a little. I'll save a little bit. I am all so sparkly and glittery now. As we've seen on this one, this is actually a nice tight fit from the solar light that I had purchased today at the Dollar Tree I have some other ones, so I thought, well, let me go ahead and use the ones I have. Very easy. I was going to show you. It's very easy to replace batteries, which is all that you need to do, maybe even on an annual basis. Take it apart. It takes a triple A. Just lift up the prongs a little bit. Take out your battery. Put a new one in. See that's working? Now, unfortunately, I found this with some other ones that I was doing. Again, dispose of that. The top of the lid is not as tight. Different manufacturers. So, we are going to use a little bit of the self stick or double stick tape. Simply wrap that around. I'm going to leave a little bit here because I do want some edging. And you're just going to wrap that around. Okay. 
Magaling. Get it. And there's our light. Uh -huh. And this is how it will look outside on your patio. Start just a little bit. 